Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Hit the Button, Baby. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back and better than ever, ready to rock this tomato and make it a potato. Actually, which is better, the potato or the tomato? It's neither here nor there. What is here is I woke up to a wonderful bit of cuddling. And then, as I arose out of bed, I found an angry, suspicious observer furious at the world, and specifically at Soho, for doctoring the data. And hey, who can blame him? But suspicious, you're a dad now, dude. You need to calm down, and you need to not let the bastards get you down. So what we're looking at here, because I have the luxury of putting up videos whenever I want, as opposed to Esso's structured time frame, we are looking at the actual sun diving of our little comet. And Esso had said they cut out about 20 hours and then put back in four. But um, this comet looks pretty good, man. And Esso said it might survive. And it survived up to 100, which is what we're at now. And it only looks like it's about an hour behind on the data given. So, you know, we're just going to keep our eye out. And all of us intelligent adults who are not on the payroll know for a fact comets and the sun directly interact with each other. And remember, December and January are holiday season. For some reason, December, Christmas, New Year, Thanksgiving, it's kind of the comet season. 07, 07, 14? Yeah, it's about 23 hours worth of data they skipped. Why do you guys do that? You think we can't handle it? You think we'll start running out in the streets, setting things on fire, yelling, Nibiru's here, everybody's gonna die. It's just damn data, and the nerds of us who watch this crap, pretty level-headed, you know? You should treat us like adults, man. We're cool, you know? You gotta stop putting your pixie whistle in very rude places. You hear me? Pixie whistle face. Yeah, we'll go cash your government check, Johnny. All right, so we'll keep our eyes out. This comet is officially a sun diver, a sun grazer. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of it on a Soho C3. Man, they must have cut out massive chunks of data. Excuse me as I borrow a Paul Begley tagline. Are you serious? Are you serious? And apparently they are. Look at that. You can kind of see the tail going in. Wow, they cut out like 23 hours. Is that a new Soho record? Way to go, jerks. Way to jerk it up, man. We paid for this stuff. Do you know that? Our tax dollars paid for all this crap. So you should give us some of the data. And Barack Obama, the president of the United States, head of the White House, said, hey, give up all the damn data. You know? Come on. I'll have to do a story on that because it's true. He said give up all the damn solar data and, and this would be a fine example of time you should give it all up. Well, put it back. And suspicious observers has a right to be mad, though he shouldn't. Because anger only leads to the dark side. All right. Well, stay cool. I'll let you guys know more as we learn it. Peace out.